Hi there, it's Laura here from Get Organized HQ and I wanna share with you one of my very favorite and by far most versatile organizing products and that is the Lazy Susan or the Turntable. There's so many different types and kinds available. I'll talk to you about several of them and I've used them in so many places to organize things that are really hard to organize without it. Now, before we dive in, why don't you take a minute? I wanna make sure that if you love organizing advice and inspiration and things like this, you are gonna love Get Organized HQ Virtual. Go ahead and check out all the details down below. When it comes to turntables or Lazy Susans as they are sometimes called, there are so many different varieties out there and I have used a lot of different ones and I'm gonna show you a couple in this video. The main one we're gonna focus on is the divided turntable from the container store, which is my personal favorite. It's made by iDesign, which is one of my favorite brands. And you can see here, it is very high size, which is fantastic, meaning things aren't gonna fall out. You can hold a lot in here. You can even dump things like dishwasher tabs in there and they'll stay. It is clear and acrylic, so it's modern looking. It goes with most types and styles and it has five divisions in it and these are not removable, they stay put. I have a different one also from the container store where uh, it only has four divisions and they are removable. I just think five is the perfect number and um, they're not gonna go anywhere because they're very, very sturdy. So this is one of my favorites that I use all over the place. But then we have a few others that I'd like to discuss because these are also super, super useful. So this one is just a flat turntable with a little bit of a side. I would say it goes up about half to three quarters of an inch. And the purpose of that side is just so something doesn't fly off as you turn it. Um, so this is a really good quality one. It also has some ridges down at the bottom so things don't slide around super easily and it's quiet when you place them on. I use this one for um, all of my different oils in my cabinet because if you just place them without a turntable, it's harder to reach in and grab them, but here you can see everything that you have and I love that. They also make these in all different sizes. I'll make sure I link to these down below for whatever size you need. I recommend the largest size that fits on your shelf it makes the most sense and is gonna maximize your space the most. But when you're choosing a flat turntable, it's important to make sure that it has a little bit of a lip so things don't slide off. Then we get into this really fun one, which is a tiered turntable. And this isn't the only tiered turntable I have seen. They have various different kinds of these where if you have like a taller cabinet or shelf, you can maximize your vertical space by using something like this. So you could put like jars or spices or something on the bottom and then something else on the top so that you're maximizing your space. And another turntable that I wanted to show you, I think this one is super fun. This one is divided with containers and I just thought this one was really unique. I haven't seen this a lot. Um, I will link to it down below, but you can see how it has three compartments of these containers that are doubly stacked. So you can put like pom-poms, craft supplies. I think this would be perfect for that. And then as you turn it, you get to the taller container. So if you wanted like pipe cleaners or popsicle sticks or something that was taller, this would be perfect. Another thing I love about this one, I think it is incredibly well done because not only are you sitting them on here, but you can see how they have little ridges built in. So these are not gonna slide around as you turn the turntable and that is really important. Also, not only that, but when you get to these double stacked ones, you'll see how there is a ridge here in the lid. Anytime I'm looking for any kind of stacking organizing, that is super important to me because I don't want things to slide off. So it seems really secure and would be great for so many different things. This is the turntable that I keep in my office right beside my desk and it just has my most frequently used items that I need on a very regular basis, the things that would be hard to find if I put them elsewhere. So you'll see that I have my nail polishes here along with my fake nails and a little nail file slash buffer that I can take care of any hang nails or buff my nails while I'm at my desk. I just find myself painting my nails and taking care of my nails most often at my desk while I'm watching TV or watching trainings or something 
like that. So that's why I want those super accessible. And next, you'll see that I have my cord control items. Let's face it, we have cords pretty much everywhere. And so these are various types of cord control items. This is a little, it's like a shoelace, but it's made out of silicone. I actually really love it. And then there's some magnetic ones in there. So anything I would need to corral a cord. These are screen cleaning items, a bunch of wipes and spray because we have lots of screens in the office and they frequently need cleaned. I do them most often once a month. When I do my plan with me, I also set aside time to clean my screens. And then you'll see I have a little battery backup and a few frequently used adapters that I need to plug into my computer and the other side into another item so I'm never losing those. Those are something that I lost all the time before I implemented this turntable. This is the turntable that I have under my kitchen sink, which is a very tricky area to organize. So this makes it super easy. You'll see I have my things that I need with my dishwasher, my drying agent. I have little dishwasher tabs and I just put them straight in there. They hold really nicely in the divided compartments and they are right there, easy access when I need them. You could even fill up an entire one with those dishwasher tabs if you wanted to. And then my drying agent is in there, so it's ready to go when I need it. And it doesn't stand up too tall, so it still goes under the garbage disposal. Those are little garbage disposal cleaners. My vegetable brush for cleaning my vegetables when I am at the sink, I keep in there as well. And then... In the other compartment, I have the little things that stop up my sink. We don't actually use those super often, but they're there when we need them. And then under there are plastic gloves because you just never know when you're going to need disposable gloves for cleaning up messes. These turntables are also perfect for storing makeup and toiletries. You can see how much I have in here. This is actually more makeup and products than I would even use on a daily basis that all fit in here. So in this compartment, I have all my different foundations and foundation brushes. I think I do use more foundation than the average person. I just, I like a lot. And um, so I have several of those. And then I have several different foundation related items, blushes, things like that. And these are all eye care. All of my eye palettes plus my mascara fit very easily in one compartment. Then you can see I put my brushes right in the center. There's like a little hole, perfect for brushes, super easy access. And then I have several different essentials and toiletries in that next compartment. And then I have some brushes and some cotton rounds. So you could leave this out on your counter if you don't have a lot of space, or if possible, I think you could set it in a drawer if you had a drawer that was big enough or right under your kitchen sink, not your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink so that it was hidden and out of view. But if you needed it in view, it's still nice and organized and everything can stay completely together. I know it sounds like I say this about all of the turntables, but this is by far my favorite use for it, and that is to contain all my cords. So in that compartment is just all of my cords that are USB to iPhone style cords. So I have so many of those, and they go for iPhones, iPads, all of those devices. Before I put them in, I actually corral them with some type of cord control. When I put them all in there loose, as I used to do, they all got all tangled up. So I think it's important if you have a lot of them to go ahead and control them in some way first and then place them in there. And now anytime I need to charge something, right there it is. You can see how many I have. So it was necessary to corral them really well. And I use all different types of cord control in there. And then as we go on, the next compartment is USB. So that's the same as the iPhone cords, but it goes to something else small. And I have one for my headphones. I have one for a shower speaker. And I think a couple of other items use that type of cord. So anytime it's a small thing, but it's not an iPhone, I know to go right there and look for those. And again, I also corral those with some type of cord control before I place them in there. And this has been a game changer for finding cords. Then I have all my different cord controlling methods in the next compartment. So these are little silicone 
They look like shoestrings, but they're actually flexible silicone. These are amazing. I plan to do a, an entire video on cord control soon and review all of these. Those ones are magnetic. And then I have the little ones where you can wrap it around and fit them in there. As you can tell, I'm a little bit obsessed with cord control and I hate cord clutter. So I have found a way to get it under control and I've tried all the products. Next is a section just for power bricks. At different times, I have more power bricks in here. These are there's several of them in use right now. Um, a lot of them are the standard ones that come with your iPhone, but that way, instead of storing them with the cord themselves, anytime I have a cord that plugs into a USB, which is most of them, I can just grab a power brick and it can fit with any USB cord. They are all interchangeable. They do not have to be made by the same brand or something like that. So that has worked out perfectly for me. And then next I have a little battery backup to like take when I travel. And then I have all of my different adapters. So if there's something I need to plug into something else and it doesn't fit, I know go right there. And those are my adapters. And those are the kind of things that get lost all the time. So having them somewhere like this is a total game changer and you'll never lose a cord again. This is a little bit of an out of the box idea, but I used this for my daughter's small toys and doll accessories. So don't just think of the traditional things. Try to think outside the box. When you just throw all these things in a drawer, they just look really disorganized and they get all mixed up. But this is a great way to keep them. So this was the garden kit. These are from the Our Generation dolls from Target. They come with these little kits. Then all the sunglasses, they have come with a matching pair for the kid and for the doll. Um, next, we put the doll shoes in another compartment. And then this was a party kit. And we just put all of those items in that particular compartment. And next up was the travel kit. So we put all those items in the next compartment. And then we just put the balloons from the party kit right in the center there. And then this can be left out. It doesn't look bad or it easily fits in her dresser drawer so you can hide it away as well if you want to and everything is right there for easy access. One thing that I have seen a lot is people putting pins in these turntables. But let me tell you from personal experience, it takes a lot of pins for them to stand up. That was quite a few pins and you can see how they are somewhat disorganized. They don't stand up very well. I would need a ton of those pins in order for them to stand up. Now, Obviously, if I really wanted to, I could mix and match and put another set of pins in there, like those mild liners, but that's not my favorite thing to do. I don't really like to get them mixed up. And I could put the whole jar in there, but then that seems like a silly use of space. Uh, if I if I have them in the jar, I don't feel like I really need to put them then in the turntable. So let me tell you what the solution to this is. And Tasha from my team came up with this brilliant solution. You can see it in action here. And what she did was she took modeling magic and put it on the inside of each of those turntables. So she only had to fill the outside of her turntable with pens. And while it still uses quite a bit of pins, it's quite a bit less than it would typically use. And then you could put something on top of the model magic if you wanted to also store something there. So that's an, a solution for you if you really want to use it for pens. These are also great for storing snacks like in a cabinet or in the pantry. And if you want to fill them with healthy foods, it's a great fun way to get your kids to eat healthy foods. I filled this turntable with office essentials and everyday use items. Here I put washi tape. It's really easy to see what I have and access. And then I put a pack of index cards and then little sticky tabs of various types. And then I placed everyday use pens and pencils. You'll see I put them in a jar just because if I put them straight in, they would kind of flop around and not stand up very well. So a jar or something like that is necessary. And then the label maker fits really nicely upside down in this turntable. And then right next to it, I have all the different types of label refill tapes that I put in my label maker. If you loved seeing all these different uses for my turntables, then you're absolutely gonna love my video all about my top 10 most used, very favorite organizing products. So you can go ahead and click there to check it out. And 
If you have not already, make sure you take a second and sign up for Get Organized HQ Virtual. If you're watching this right when the video comes out, it is still available to sign up for free. If you're watching this later, the All Access Pass is an amazing deal and it is available year round. So go ahead and click out that link down below.